Hey everyone, welcome back to my garage. I just wanted to do a short little video um, going over my experiences using these uh, various food safe uh, finishes on my wood bowls and bases and so forth. Um, I'm no expert by any means. Um, this is just detailing my experiences. Um, it's not a how-to video. There's much better videos on YouTube for that kind of stuff, and I'm not a sponsor. This is just detailing my experiences with these products and what I've come across in using them. Uh, unfortunately, I give well, for, I give most of my bowls and, and stuff away, um, so I don't have many um, samples to show with this video. But here's what I got, and just to go over some things. First off. Um, even though it's not a how-to video, like I said, I'm going to start with sanding because I, I was learning as I went. Um, you'll find some cheap stuff on Amazon. Don't get it. The grit's not consistent. You'll just get scratches and you'll battle yourself um, all the way through the project. You have to put the time into sanding. Whatever grit you sand up to, whether it's 320, 400, 600, whatever, just don't skip any grits. Go through the process and do it right. And you'll be happy with the end product. Um, if you have open grain and a lot of tear out and stuff, start with 80. If you got cleaner surface, start a little higher. Just don't skip grits and don't be cheap on the sandpaper. Um, find a, I, can, I can provide links if you're interested in the comments, but find a good sandpaper that's consistent and pay the price to it. It's not that expensive. Just pay for it because it'll save you a ton of headache. Trust me on that. And then always have some uh, steel wool on hand. Can't go wrong with that. Anyhow, what I got here is tried and true original wood finish. Just a little bottle that I've got left over of this. Um, Mahoney's walnut oil and their oil wax finish, which if you've seen my videos, you know I love. And then I got Zinzer Universal Sanding Sealer along with the Axe Sanding Paste and, and Wood Polish. Um, now, the reason for this video is just uh, what I've come across. I mean, I love all of these products. I've used them all in my videos. They're all super easy and convenient. Uh, anybody could do it. There's, there's really nothing to it. Um, can't go wrong either way. Um, I will say, if you want a nice shine and just a beautiful, beautiful appearance, go with Axe. If, you, if you're able to, to do something that's consistent. Oops, sorry for bumping the camera. <laughs> if you're able to do something that's round like this and you can get a friction polish for the for the wax part of it um, and you want that shine, it is gorgeous. It does the wood justice. Um, and what I'm going to say is going to sound counterintuitive, but you can still tell it's a wood bowl. It feels like wood even though it's got the wax surface. Um, that said, if there are things and I've been I've been selling Axe a lot um, using it a lot because I've just been very impressed with it but also if you've been watching my videos you know that Mahoney's is my favorite and it still is and it's two reasons one if you really want to feel the wood in your hands and feel that grain this is an old acacia bowl I did December last year as I was practicing if you really want to feel that grain you want to use tried and true or Mahoney's um, there's an old walnut bowl that I did um, back in November of last year. I epoxied something in there. But all these, all these months later, it's just absolutely beautiful. And you can feel the grain. If you really want to feel it, um, it just has a, a, an amazing, better feel to it versus, you know, the smooth wax coating, I guess, if that's describing it right. There's one of those square bowls that I kept um, where it was a walnut and cherry on top. It just, you can't beat that feeling. But if shine is what you want, then yeah, axe. Anyhow, I don't know if you watched this cedar bowl video. I'm, it came up because I'm getting ready to give this bowl away this weekend. Um, the other attribute, um, if your wood has a, a beautiful smell to it like this cedar does, this uh, absolutely covers it up. However, because I wasn't able to friction turn the bottom, I put Mahoney's walnut oil on this portion right here. After I turned out the recess, I put Mahoney's walnut oil and a few days later put the wax on. So I'm getting ready to give this away to a family member and I can still smell the cedar right here. So not only does it give you that, that feel, 
I mean, this obviously feels like wood, but it's just got a different smooth waxy surface to it. Nothing bad, but you're just missing some of that grain texture, I guess is the right way to say it. But if you've got something that smells good, wow. I'm so happy that they match the Mahoney's and the Axe together. But you get, you still get, even from right here, my head's just over a foot and a half away, and I can still smell that cedar from right there. And that is what one of the things that I wanted to do this video for and mention this Mahoney's, you know, all around is my favorite. As much as I've, I've loved Axe recently and given them a lot of props as I've done different turnings with the vases and bowls, um, Mahoney's is still my favorite and it's because I can still smell this cedar it's because it's just a little extra special when you can feel feel it in your hands anyhow if you have any questions or comments um, I'm happy to give links to where I got the sand the scallop sandpaper um, give, give my further thoughts on any of these finishes or what so whatever I just wanted to just quickly detail my ex brief experiences with all three um, it's just my preference to use food, food safe um, I will say in terms I've done two a natural edge and one live edge uh, live edge walnut with the bark natural edge that Brazilian pine um, I used Mahoney's on both uh, and painted it on and it was perfect you can use the, the sanding sealer and then uh, paint on a shellac to the bark of something but painting on Mahoney's was just as great as, as an option as well in terms of the live edge and bark, leaving bark on something. Anyhow, I hope you found this short little video helpful or informative in some way. If you have any questions or comments, I look forward to hearing from you. Um, should be starting another bowl project very soon. Uh, anyhow, thanks again for watching. Hope you all have a great 4th of July weekend. Take care.